All right. Hello, everybody. So, ah, perfect. All right, hello, everybody. So this is my 21-foot gooseneck trailer. It's got a table on the back right now. And um, I am trying to make this more usable to me. I have these giant 16-foot ramps. They're heavy as all get out. Um, plus, yeah, so all I use this tra ramp, this trailer for is putting stuff on top of the vehicles of uh, some various kind, whether it's a tractor or trucks or whatever. So I am going to transfer, turn this from a flat deck into a beaver tail. So I'm going to come from about here over and I'm going to cut this little railing thing. I think I'm going to eliminate it. We'll see. I'm going to cut this here and then I'm going to cut a triangle out from here. So probably, I think if I go from here down and here over, hopefully I can nail it and get enough out the first go around. So then when I do that, this end will drop down and then rejoin together where I can weld it together again. So that's the plan. I took, I unscrewed all these deck boards and I did this. What I'm going to do is drop the legs because right now it's leaning forward because it's got all the weight where it's at. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move that, make it level. And then, um, then I'm going to make my measurement to figure out. Uh, anyway, so I'll go from there. All right, I just measured. And this side is 34 inches. I wish I had a, a straight edge. There, I could run across the top. And then I could measure from the straight edge. Just to... No, I still need the concrete to be level. Anyways, this side is 34, uh, 35, so it's about a half inch difference between them, 9 sixteenths difference. Anyways, I'm going to come back to about the four foot section right here, and I'm going to cut it right there, and we're going to go from there. I'm going to have to do the same there. Yep, so this will be fun. Um, Bob came by and came home to help me out. Um, so from here over is four feet, and then we took the level. I didn't get any of this on camera for you guys. Sorry about that. We took the level. Oh, hey now. Guess that was too close. All right. We took the level and we put it to the desired height. And then, while the level was on that side, he had the speed square. And he just rotated the speed square from there on up. And from there on up. And he got to 10 degrees. Um, was it 10? No, I believe we were at 20, but we decided to cut it in half both sides and hopefully it will match up better. So we're doing 10 degrees on both sides. Let's get rid of that line. Then I crawled underneath and did the same thing. Now, I'm gonna cut the bottom, both sides, and then I'll cut up, probably with a cutoff wheel, but the top doesn't get cut. It's going to hinge and hopefully bend off underneath this. What I'm probably, what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to bring my jack over to this side and put it underneath here and jack it up. Also, things that are going to be in the way, I don't even know what this is for. It was here. It's a, oh, sorry. Hurry up. Um, I don't know what this is for. It was on the trailer when I bought it. 
This is for the ramps. I'm going to have to get this as well. Um, but I'm running out of battery, so I don't know how much... I'm understand what this is for. Anyone's got any ideas, you can feel free to let me know. Maybe it's a drug smuggling tube. All right, so if we drew from over there, pulled, would be four feet, but we're butting up and we're losing an eighth of an inch. So we're going to do minus eight, an eighth of an inch. All right, so. Put that like that. I'm gonna let you guys know. This is very difficult. Very difficult. I need a camera person almost. So I'm gonna try and do what I can for you guys. Alright. That's it's not so good. All right, so what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna set you guys down. And I'm gonna just try and explain to you. Should be able to, gosh, I need a new tripod. All right, hopefully I can explain to you guys what's going on and that will help out. Let's put the baseball cap back on. All right, here's where we're at. Rotate this up this way. And I'm going to put a mark on the top. From this mark, I'm going to go up to 10 degrees. Ooh. 10 degrees to the top side of it. I'm going to take my soapstone and drop it down to the bottom. Give myself a mark. Just for uh, making sure everything's the same. I'm gonna go over there to there. And we are technically a little bit bigger, so I must have pulled that from a different spot. It should only be an inch on both sides from the center mark, an inch to the outside of my speed square. And that's just for this. So there's no guarantees that that's exactly what you would need. So I wish I could uh, get the camera in a better place for you guys, but two lines. Well, there's the center line at four feet. I want an inch back and an inch forward from that line, and I ran him back by doing like that. Now I am just going to put that to the bottom. Connect this up top. There's that mark. And then there will be this mark right here. All right. And we're not going to worry about that mark. Cut that. Cut that. First line. And second line. Lowest P. 
piece. It's just under eight and a half. It's eight and three eighths is the distance from in between. And I'm not even level right now, so I need to fix that. Now, what I've seen a lot of these beaver tails have is they'll come in and they'll notch this. So, <clears throat> for instance, if I came all the way up there, I would have a 17 inch clearance. So how do you figure that out? Well, I was thinking about that this morning before I got out of bed, and I came up with the answer. We'll just put level here, and level it, right? So right there to right there. We'll come here, mark that, and I'll cut that entire section out, the inside web. And then I'll end up raising that up and then welding that. And that will give me my distance. Although, if I go, I don't know if I need to go all the way that back that far. Here we are. Not too bad. The trailer came up, but not too bad. Uh, I was trying to get that off, but it's moving so much right now that I'm just gonna have to weld it back on. There's a little bit of a gap there, which I think I can take the hammer to. Kind of help flatten that out. Um. Cut there, so I'm probably gonna cut the score the other side, and then uh, there's a weld on this back side that runs along there. So I'm just gonna come in here, break it, bend it back and forth. But this is getting there, guys. I'm loving what we're what I'm seeing right now. It's uh, it's getting exciting because um, ever since I bought this trailer. Shortly after, I don't know, a couple months, I kind of realized I wanted a beaver tail, dovetail, beaver tail, whatever you call it. Um, I wanted it to be like this, so it's exciting to be able to actually do this um, and make this trailer something more useful to me.